This video was made possible by the support of CuriosityStream. Go to curiositystream.com slash Teramata to find thousands of streamable documentaries and non-fiction TV shows on topics like nature, science, and more. Sloths live, eat, and give birth in the trees. But once a week, they climb down to the ground for the most dangerous thing their species could do. Take a poop. More than half of all sloth deaths occur on ground. So why do sloths risk their lives for their bathroom habits? Once, there were dozens of sloth species around. Some of them, like the giant ground sloth, were as big as mammoths, with claws the size of a man's forearm. Today, there are six surviving species which fall into two groups. There are three toad sloths, the ones with the beetle's haircuts, and then there are the two toad sloths. Both live in the jungles of Central and South America. At first glance, sloths might appear boring, but a closer look shows they're actually quite special. Sloths are energy-saving icons, performing about 10% of the physiological work done by mammals of a similar size, and boasting a suit of ingenious adaptations that allow them to exist on as few as 160 calories per day. They've certainly figured out that being fast costs valuable energy. And their diet, which consists of leaves, does have little nutritional value, as well as being hard to digest. To cope, sloths have evolved a four-chambered stomach, much like a cow's, where they employ a host of gut bacteria to digest what they eat. It can take sloths up to a month to break down one single leaf. So this sloth isn't really lazy. He's actually very busy, digesting. Sloths have about half the skeletal muscle of terrestrial mammals. Turning their lives upside down saves energy, and they can do almost anything in this inverted position. Their fur grows in the opposite direction so they can drip dry after tropical storms. In water, sloths can swim three times faster than they can walk on land. And because of their ability to slow their heart to one-third its normal rate, they can hold their breath for a whopping 40 minutes underwater. A good swim also moisturizes the sloth's complex fur system. Sloths are as much an ecosystem as an animal, and to provide this intact world, they're prepared to take great risks. Once a week, the three-toed sloth climbs down from the trees, digs a small hole in the ground with its tail, and defecates. Then it covers up its latrine with leaves before climbing back up. This behavior seems highly unnecessary. Sloths don't just burn nearly one-tenth of their daily calories on these laborious descents and climbs, but they are incredibly easy prey on the ground. While moving around on the jungle floor, they're likely to encounter predators like the harpy eagle or jaguar. In fact, more than half of all sloth deaths occur when predators strike as they are traveling to and from their low-level latrines. So why do the sloths do it? For scientists, this risky behavior has long been a mystery, and there are lots of theories as to why sloths do it. For example, they could be fertilizing a favorite tree or communicating with other sloths. But Jonathan Pauly from the University of Wisconsin-Madison has a different explanation. He and his team believe the answer could lie within the miniature ecosystems flourishing in the sloth's fur. Hidden in their hair, sloths host a diverse community of fungi, algae, insects, mites, and ticks. Many of these residents are found nowhere else. The three-toed sloth even has adaptations that help it cultivate these partners. For example, its hair contains cracks that collect rainwater and acts as a miniature hydroponic garden for algae to grow in. Their fur also contains moths, Cryptosis moths live exclusively on sloths, probably feeding on their skin secretions or algae. 
There can be up to 120 of them on one single individual. These moths are entirely dependent on the sloths and specifically on their daring defecation descents. When a three-toed sloth descends to the forest floor to defecate, moths ride along with them. While the mammal is doing its thing, the female moths fly off and lay their eggs in the fresh dung. The larvae eat nothing else. Adult moths leave the dung pile and fly up to the canopy in search of sloths and mates. The moths increase the amount of nitrogen in the sloth's fur, which encourages algae to thrive. So the moths help to fertilize the sloth's algal gardens, which gives the sloth a valuable energy boost. It's a perfect sloth-moth circle. By analyzing the chemical compounds of the algae, the researchers around Polly found that it does indeed contain the same amount of carbohydrates and protein as the leaves that sloths normally eat. In addition, it contains three to five times more fat, providing a much needed supplement to the sloth's otherwise nutrient poor diet. The green algal growth is also thought to help sloths blend in with their leafy habitat, giving them additional camouflage protection from predators. For the three-toed sloth, a trip to the restroom is no rest at all, but it looks as though it's totally worth it. And using its own poop to cultivate a decent snack is also pretty clever, right? Speaking of cleverness, we followed many more clever species around the world, and our documentaries can be found within the library of CuriosityStream. CuriosityStream is the world's leading documentary and non-fiction streaming service, covering science, nature, history, biographies, and pretty much anything else you can think of. You can explore thousands of hand-picked stories, exclusive originals, and also our Terra Mata long-form documentaries. Learn about why animals produce their own light, dive deep with humpback whales, and follow the most crucial pollinator on Earth on its journey. With our promo code Terra Mata, the subscription to CuriosityStream is just $14.99 for the whole year. Go to curiositystream.com slash and use our promo code to sign up now.